Hail Pandawans and journeymen, walk in that illustrated path. And I am excited today because this just came in the mail. And these are the artist proofs of Brutal the Art of Samwise. Oh my goodness, these look so cool. Dude, look at that, that's a beefy book. You can clock someone over the head with that and do some real Jean-Claude Van Damage. Let's open this up. My goodness. Yeah, so I have not been able to see a hard copy of the book here because we had the lockdown. And so when I had the, to approve the pages, it was all done digital. I was not able to see a physical copy of the pages. So I am super excited and a little scared. Hopefully they came out great. So cool. It's got one of these little book bands. I have never liked these book bands. They're always like a little, it's like a mini skirt or something for the guy. Um, so yeah, it's cool. Got some cool artwork and little write-ups on it. But uh, yeah, done with that. So let's check this out. I'm just going to be a ass and go in half, look right in. Oh my goodness. Dude, that is cool. Whew. Oh my loot. Whew. Love it. All right, let's, uh, let's not be a, uh, a goofball. Let's start at the beginning. Okay, Brutal Art of Samwise. And it's got the umlauts over the U that makes it more metal. So, okay, cool, yeah. It's, so I can go through the book a little bit with you. So it's broken down basically into four sections. Uh, we have an intro by Brother Chris here. Thank you. Thank you, Brother Chris. And then at the end, there's a, you know, interview conversation with Brother Mickey Nielsen here. Um, and then a, finally a step-by-step. -step. So these things are ABC Metal Brutal Doodles Blizzard. So it basically goes, we have four sections here. ABC is my personal art. Metal is all the album covers and stuff I've done over the years. Brutal Doodles are when, you know, I'm in a meeting or on the phone or there's time to be creative, get the sketch pad and start going to work. And then uh, stuff from the, the glorious day job. There's a little thing from Metzen. Thank you, Brother Metz. <laughs> okay, ABC. All right, look at that. Jeez. So basically this just goes through. I'm not going to bore everyone too much, but it goes through all of the sort of just individual art I've created over the years. Zom Bees. Clever girl. Oh, cool. Yeah, I forgot. There's something that's from the uh, Penny Arcade tribute. Um, yeah, so let's just kind of go through this. This has some of my favorite uh, stuff I've done over the years that, you know, not really for anything in particular, just doing some cool artwork. Uh, some of it, yeah, so like for my Christmas cards. <laughs> I still get a kick out of this one, Professor Savior. That just worked out so well. And always remember, never forget the cookies. So it goes through my personal art. Oh yeah, here's some of the art I'd done for some of my previous books. Last winter, ooh, that's big. Some stuff, like I believe like this art here, I don't think I've ever shown before. So there's some art that you may have seen and some art that you might not have. So that's last winter. Ooh, look at that. So here's some stuff from Strange Highways. A lot of all, Strange Highways is predominantly all black and white with the exception of the cover, which is in color. And then a few pictures that uh, Brother Alex Horley did for us. Um, I didn't include those in here because they're not my art. <laughs> oh yeah, so that's, yeah, that's going through all the, oh yeah, Grimbeard stuff too, look at that. Man, man, I'm sorry if I'm kind of rambling here, people. This is the first time seeing this, so I am, Super stoked at how, you know, beautiful this layout came out and everything. And a lot of times uh, in art books, you'll see that they'll have like a ton. I think there might be some coming up. So like, for example, this. These are not the greatest individual images in the world. But they have, you know, they're cool enough that if you group a bunch of them together, the page is just saturated with just detail and art and then you save the big big pictures for ones that are you know sort of full color or have lots of detail as well because if, if you blow up like a page that just has you know some regular art it's not as not as interesting i i have a tendency to when i have an art book i just want to fill 
the pages from top to bottom, left to right, and uh, you know, even stuff like this. I'm like, can we make these bigger? And they go, well, we gotta have the write-ups on the bottom. So yeah, it says like the names of each of the pictures, what medium they were done in when they came out. But yeah, I, I was like, okay, well, we'll, uh, we'll let there be some room. Oh yeah, so this is the metal section. Metal, very near and dear to my heart. Best, uh, best type of music in the world. All right, so yeah, here's some stuff I've done. Oh, Visigoth, Hammerfall section. That's probably the one of the biggest sections in the book. Look, it's already uh, over here, and I'm already still got a ton more to go. So yeah, this was just stuff. This one's a fun story because this was the first time that I just did this piece of artwork for them, just sort of just out of the blue. Like they didn't ask me to do any art, and I was just drawn in. I heard their song called "The Legend Reborn." And it says, you know, flying on wings of steel. And I'm like, ooh, steel wings would be killer for this guy. And then, of course, what's better than one lightning hammer, but two hammers, one of lightning, one of fire. That's cool. So I just sort of juiced him up and, like, you know, gave him the purple cloak, this sort of halo thing here, the wings. And they dug it, and they ended up using this artwork for um, a DVD called, I think it was Rebels with a Cause. So look, that's perfect ABC for you. Just do the artwork, Ooh, do the artwork and you'll find a use for it. This was done for Dominion, killer album. Wow, this was the first piece I did for them. Arts on Fire, the single for this album, Crimson Thunder. Man, um, I'm gonna start kind of going through a little bit quicker just because, you know, we don't want this video to be an hour long. This is. Uh, affectionately known as the Hammer Eye. <laughs> Clever girl, part two. Oh, yeah. So here's some awesome, some other pieces that were never seen before. This was for a, a single that the artwork didn't really, you know, go with the, the, the song. And so we ended up not using it, but we get to use it here. See in the, sil in the shadow? That's their mascot, Hector's uh, silhouette. So, okay. Oh, yeah. So now we got some Amon Marth. They're awesome band. Oh man. Yeah, this one also, this piece of artwork was done on my own and uh, I was able to uh, meet them at a concert and I, uh, oh, sorry, no, it wasn't this one. I'm a jackass. It was the art, uh, we'll find it later in the, uh, in the book, but it's, it was for uh, Freyer's Last Stand. And I had drawn that, there it is, sorry about that, because I thought it was an awesome song and I shared them this artwork and they ended up liking it and they ended up using it on one of their t-shirts. So again, another example, just create the artwork and uh, you never know when you'll be able to use it. Oh, and possibly the coolest metal band in the world, next to Man of War, Elite Torin Chieftain. So yeah, this was the art I did for ETC stuff. There's the awesome purple rain, like it rain, not like, a glass of rain. This is rain like, yes, conquer. Some stuff for Metal Blade, Cannibal Corpse. This is for uh, Joachim, the lead singer of Hammerfall, his solo band. Yeah. And an awesome guitarist I met uh, when we went to Hellfest, Charlie Para. Sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Did this for his album cover. I don't think I've shared that one before. And these are some pieces of art I did for, uh, unfortunately, this was for Cope in hell, and it didn't get, uh, happen this year. <laughs> Unfortunately, a lot of things didn't happen. Um, a lot of cool festivals got canceled. Um, this was done for Hellfest uh, a couple years ago. Brutal Doodles, okay. So this is an example of me just sort of with whatever, you know, implements are around me, whatever paper. I had got a uh, sketch pad of recycled paper. And so I got Sharpies and then I had this cool white pen that I got for, I don't know, like 79 cents at Michael's and I just started going to town. So, you know, this was, this, I used to draw on the old shopping bags that they had in the supermarkets. I didn't draw in the supermarkets, <laughs> but I would draw on it because it had a really cool texture. The recycled paper it really, uh, took, took ink very well. So, um, it reminded me of that. And I have a gray one nowadays, and I'm sure you know, you've seen some posts that I've done of the, the gray recycled paper uh, monsters that I've been doing. Um, and here's some standard pencil and paper. 
Uh, these ones were just done, you know, pencil with paper, and then I scanned them in Photoshop. But this one's called Tree of Suffering Souls. This one's uh, Under Stars Enthroned. Both are, those are either song titles or lyrics from a band called Triptychon. If you haven't heard of them, check them out. Awesome stuff. Dude from Celtic Frost doing his uh, solo band. Really, really good stuff. So I'm going to keep going kind of through here. There's a ton of stuff. This one I think we sold... Um, at a at the charity auction at a BlizzCon a few years ago. So if you have that original one, you'll notice that I when I scanned it, I just desaturated it so it would be gray instead of brown like these other ones because I wanted this page to be nice and balanced. Now here's an example too. So here's a you know I do the artwork in pencil, copy paper, big pencil, whatever's around, and I'll just kind of work on it. I'll smudge you know this is the original smudge tool right here. I'll smudge the the graphite on it and just keep darkening stuff and then you can scan it into photoshop and add contrast add some more stuff a little bit of blur maybe and it really you know it just that's a great example of original art and then what photoshop can do love it old wolf sleeping cub <laughs> man man ah the dwarf ladies. I love me some dwarf, dwarf uh, male, dwarf female. I love the whole kind of kit and culture and race. And I had just recently done a uh, interview about with the art, you know, Brutal the Art of Samwise book, this one here. And the interviewer was saying like, your, your characters are so, uh, you know, bulky and blocky. And like even the female characters, they're just solid. I go, yeah, that's, I don't know. That's what I like. Looks cool. That's someone that you don't want to mess with. That's someone you don't want to mess with. Not like in the, you know, movies where there's this like 105 pound, uh, you know, main character that's just, you know, going through 70, 80 ninjas and, and mechs and robots and all that and barely breaking a sweat. Uh, I like the characters to feel like they could actually do some damage. All right, well, so this is the brutal doodle stuff. Uh, this one was one of the favorites too. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's, um, what is it called? Oh, not an iceberg. There we go. So that's what happened to the Titanic there. And it's the blizzard section. So this is a selection of some of my favorite pieces I've done over the years. Um, it's not all of them, but it's a lot of them. So it's broken down into like Warcraft section, a lion among wolves. So a lot of new stuff, go back to a lot of the old stuff. This is probably still one of my favorite pictures. It's not the best, but it's got a dwarf, an orc, two of my favorite things to draw. It's got the Mountain King Mirrodin and the Blade Master Samuro, uh, two of my favorite characters. So it's very, very cool. That to see, you know, this it's kind of cool to see all this stuff all together and with old stuff, with new stuff, with my own personal stuff. It's been a real, real. Uh, I don't know, cool, cool thing to have a, this art book come out. It's been many years in the making, and thanks, Blizz, for letting me show my Blizz stuff. And, yeah, I hope you guys are, are digging this. This thing is, again, I'm seeing it for the first time, so I'm sorry if I'm kind of going in and out of chatting and being quiet. But this, you know, this was a real, uh, I don't know, I worked on this a few months at... Uh, you know, the end of last year, proofing everything and things like that, but not being able to see the actual pages, uh, just being able to see on the digital files, it's very different. Um, it, you know, sometimes the art will look really small on the, on the monitor because you're zoomed in or zoom out. Um, and then you see it and you're like, wow, that's, this is a big page, okay. And I look at stuff like this, I'm like, damn it, I should have had something there. What could I have put there? Some of the symbols, some of the, you know, icons, anything. Like I hate wasting pages. But that's always been a thing with whenever we work with companies who want to do art books, they're trying to be artistic and, and professional. And I'm there going, can we squeeze in any more stuff? It reminds me of my, <laughs> my walls from when I was a kid, posters everywhere, even going on to the ceiling. So yeah, but woo, hello. A lot of cool uh, Blizz stuff. I think this is for... The Hearthstone section, I think. Yeah, I don't know if I've ever shown that one either. Pandaren monk before there were even monks. Yeah, Hearthstone. 
So that little dude, that's my, that was my pet rat when I was about 13 or 14 years old. I had a rat named Sergeant. And when I was working with the art director on this, I go, hey, is it okay if I, you know, put in like this little rat, maybe he's the bar, you know, barkeep's helper. You know, I think this was even before he had a name and it was just the bartender, um, which is a noble profession in itself. So, but yeah, so he's like, yeah, man, go for it. And it's kind of cool to see how he worked into, you know, the sort of the Hearthstone lore. So yeah, man, this is cool. Yeah, and here's some stuff from Heroes. I don't know if uh, I've ever shared a ton of this. This one was done for, um, I'm sorry guys, I can't remember the name of the magazine, but it was done as a, a, a magazine, uh, uh, not an ad, a, a sort of a interview in the, in the magazine. Imagine Effects, that was their name, sorry about that. So yeah, man, this is cool. Wow, okay, yeah, and then this is a sort of an interview conversation I had with, with Nick. There's some old stuff from, that's back in high school. What year is that, like 87 or something? Jeez, there's my uh, lovely keyboard. I still, well, it's at work right now, so I don't use it every day, but that's, uh, I believe, the original keyboard I got when I first started, so it's <laughs> almost 30 years old. Uh, so yeah, again, me blabbering, blah, 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 so. <laughs> Yeah, thanks for doing that uh, interview with me, Mick. That was awesome. Again, here, <laughs> here's a picture. I think I posted that a while ago, but that's like mud and bark from a, I can't remember the name of the tree, and a stick. And it's like, those were the implements I had, and so I went and did it. <laughs> and then, yeah, at the end, it's a step-by-step. -step. Uh, it's a little bit more simplified than it would be, but it basically goes through, I sort of talked about it in the Hammerfall video. If you haven't seen that, check it out. It goes with rough pencils and tones, right? And then I do rough colors. And then after I get those kind of down, um, I'll do a little bit tighter pencils, a little bit more, you know, rendered out sort of tones for the shadows. And then eventually, you know, start getting into a bit more of the, the black and white style art. I don't always draw in black and white, um, it depends on the tone of the image that I'm looking for. Um, this image I, I, I really like because it's done in a, in a color scheme that I rarely use, sort of green, um, orange, and, and yellows. Normally it would be gold, red, and blue, right? Like, I guess those are the primary colors. <laughs> yeah, I don't stray too far from the original crayon box, do I? Um, but yeah, oh, and then there's the last little picture, Captain Grimbeard and his, uh, his first mate. But that's it, man. This is brutal, the art of Samwise. And, you know, it, it, like I was saying, it, it, you know, it took a while to, to put this kind of stuff together. But, you know, every week, you know, we're all busy, of course, right? But if you can do like sort of one image a week, I know no one has time. There's never going to be enough time. We already know that. You're never going to have the right materials. Stop whining, start working, right? We know that. But if you can get a piece of artwork uh, done a week, at the end of the year, you got over 50 pieces of work, you know? That could all be done for maybe it's a, a new story that you wanna do. Your story now has 50 pieces of art. Um, maybe it's for a world you're creating. Your world now has 50 different characters or zones or whatever it is. And uh, yeah, it's, it, it's that sort of going back to the ABC always be creating mentality because you will, there's, there's been so many times uh, that I've created a piece of artwork just for fun, had a blast doing it. And then it turned out that I was able to use that for something even cooler. So yeah. So let's see if we can find a, a cool picture. Here we go. Here's some cool stuff. So yeah. So thanks for checking this out. I hope you enjoy it. And, uh, this is Sam Wise. Take it easy, Panda Wands, and remember your ABCs. Always be creating.